Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's Hacking the Nintendo Wii Part 21. Today I'm going to show you how to add Sega Genesis cover art and cheats. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and you want to download these two files, the Fusion Cheat Code Pack and the Game Genie Codebook. So once you have these downloaded, you're going to want to extract them, of course. I'm going to extract the cheat code pack first. I don't need the zip or the readme file. I'm going to delete those. Here are all the cheats. And then I'm going to extract the G Game Genie codebook. Again, I don't need the zip file or the readme. I'm going to delete those. So now with my SD card in my computer, I want to put my cheats in here. So I open the Gen Plus folder, Cheats, MD, and now I'm going to drag the cheat code that I want in here. And we're going to test it for a game called Toe Jam and Earl in Panic on Funktron. So let's just drag that in here. And when I open this codebook.exe file, it brings me to this, and I'm going to look at what the cheats mean. Now you don't necessarily need this because once you're on your Wii, you can easily see what the cheats are, but just for reference, just in case, uh, you might want to go into this. And I'm interested in adding these two cheats, uh, 99 Funkitude and 10 Lives. So in order to get the cover art, you want to go into this website that's also in the description below. And you're also going to need a mod in order for your cover art to show up. So I'm going to download this 16x9 mod. And I'm going to put it in my SD card. I'll get to that in a minute. But this website also has all the 3D cover art. You can go to any one of these links here. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to download it. So I'm going to extract the mod first. I don't need the zip file anymore. And I'm going to extract the cover art as well. And again, I don't need the zip file anymore. So let's look for the cover art here. Again, I'm looking for the same Toe Jam and Earl game. There it is. I'm just going to copy it, paste it into Snaps, MD, or drag it over. Either one will do. And now the mod. So again, I need this in order to for the cover art to show up. So I want to go into my Apps folder. Then I want to go to Gen Plus GX, and I just want to drag this right in here. That's all you need to do. So we always want to make sure that the ROM name is the same as the cheat file name and is the same as the cover art name. So just in case, I'm going to copy the ROM name. I'm going to paste it here over the cheat name. looks the same. And I'm going to do the same thing with the cover art. And again, it's the same, but just in case, you want them all to be the exact same name. So once you've done that, you can head over to the Wii. Back at the Wii, let's go into our Sega channel and let's see if this worked. Load game and let's look for this Toe Jam and Earl game in Mega Drive. There it is. As you can see, it does have cover art. It doesn't look all that great, but it still has it. It's still showing up. And in order to get into the cheat menu, press the home button on your Wii controller, go down to cheats, and you'll see all these cheat codes. In order to see what they mean, press left or right on your controller. And if you press it again, it goes back to the codes, but I prefer to see what they mean. So let's just scroll down to those two cheats that I wanted to. Funkitude, 
I'm going to press the plus sign to enable it. And then I wanted 10 lives. I'm going to press the plus sign to enable it. Once you're done that, you can just press B to exit and then play the game. So let's see if those lives and the Funkitude show up. So as you can see on the bottom left hand corner, I have 99 of those Funkitudes. And then the top left corner, one, two, three, four, five, six guys. And that's it. So I've got all the lives and the Funkitude that I wanted. Thanks again for watching.